We are learning new details about the shooting death of Brentwood police officer Stephen Arkell. Investigators say an autopsy confirms that Officer Arkell was shot several times and died before the fire and explosion at that home on Mill Pond Road. Officer Arkell was called to the house Monday afternoon after a neighbor called 911 to report a domestic dispute where 47 year old Michael Nolan lived with his 86 year old father, Walter. The father gave Arkell permission to enter the home, and that's when authorities say Michael Nolan opened fire, killing Officer Arkell. About an hour later, a fire broke out in that home, followed by that massive explosion. Two bodies were later recovered, including Officer Arkell's. His death comes as a heartbreaking shock to his police department and hometown. Steve Arkell meant a lot to my department. Steve Arkell was involved a lot. Anything that Steve could do, he was there to do it. Right now, investigators believe the fire was set and they suspect propane fueled that home and it may have sparked that explosion, but they cannot confirm that yet. Investigators plan to be on the scene through at least Friday searching for more answers. Well, last night, hundreds of people gathered in Brentwood for a candlelight vigil in memory of Officer Arkell. Ray Brewer joins us live now at the Brentwood Recreation Center where that vigil was held. Good morning, Ray. Good morning, Sean. Those who knew Officer Arkell are remembering him as someone very much involved in his community. Last night, they gathered here at the rec center. They lit candles, they hugged, they cried, doing their best to cope with this devastating loss. Hundreds gathered in Brentwood for a candlelight vigil to honor the life and sacrifice of Officer Steve Arkell. Among those taking this loss hard are the young women of the Exeter High School lacrosse team. They knew Officer Arkell as Coach Arkell, and they play alongside his two teen daughters. He was a guy that wanted to be a part of everything. Like I said, he was a painter, a carpenter, an animal patrol officer, a police officer, a coach, a dad, and he just wanted to make everyone better. He's just a, was a genuine guy. You can see from what he did. He was, you know, a police officer. He was, he just, he did everything for the community. At the vigil, town officials offered thanks for the overwhelming show of support from around the state. We put the call out today for candles, etc., and within minutes everybody was agreeing and people were dropping food off flowers. It was just an outpouring that you don't often see. The lacrosse team did cancel one game because of the tragedy. However, they expect to play their scheduled game on Friday. Meantime, town officials say plans for a public memorial are still being finalized. Reporting live in Brentwood, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.